Hello guys, look at the temperature in the greenhouse and outside is still so mild that my tulips are starting to uh, come out and it's just the beginning of January 2022. So let's have a look what's going on in my greenhouse. So this jade started to bloom at the end of last year and still going strong at the beginning of uh, January 2022. Now I've got here another crassula which is springtime and there is there are more buds coming out and looking forward to see them uh, all bloom. And now the first bloom of this year is this blue mist it already bloomed last year and had those two buds which I thought they would not open up but a nice surprise at the beginning of this new year. So there are more succulents uh, like uh, Kiberias uh, and Captivarius and alike which are starting to show the signs of but as this uh, Cedivira, for instance, I think because it's so mild, the, the temperature is unusually warm for this uh, uh, time of the year. So I think even the plants are a bit confused. <laughs> and the, and also because it's so nice, so I've opened up my greenhouse just to let fresh uh, air in and, uh, and um, just to avoid any humidity uh, problems and oh look at this uh, like if you're real Lola I like the name Lola and it's uh, if you have a closer look it's got two parts can you see so there are a few uh, new echeverias that are going to, uh, not new as plants, but uh, they are going to, it seems, uh, blue for the first time for me, which is so exciting. And look at this one, how many it's got, it already has. Unbelievable. Um, so as I said, because it's a, it's, uh, quite warm and nice and the forecast is... Um, there will be a few um, warmer days ahead so the succulents that they need watering they will get just a bit of water just to keep them alive and going over the winter but uh, I won't water cacti whatsoever um, look at this one as well another one I like the pattern of those uh, leaves the same with uh, Lola or oh, that one it looks already gorgeous as flowers of themselves so it seems this the season new season will be quite successful as well and this one is my Akivira raspberry dip three-headed and it has grown so much for me but it's going to be the first time that it's going uh, to uh, flower so i can see already two flower stalks uh, forming and aloe still with buds so let's have a look now at my cacti what's going on with them in winter so as you can see they still look quite plump no signs apart from a few which have sunk in a bit into the soil but apart from that there's not much wrinkling so they got quite a lot of water still stored on in the very bodies so um they all look fine to me so no issues so a few oh and have a look at this one Freya what you can see at the top of the it I don't think it will be a bad I think it will go straight into forming uh, seeds 
it it already I've already harvested some seeds from uh, previous Faria and this is another one and last year it produces so many pups as you can see at the top again um, it's a self-pollinating type of um, a plant so you don't have to do anything and you will get <laughs> seeds anyway and my mammalia grasses still with buds and some of them because it's so warm uh, are starting to open and also i've noticed uh, how my signature have uh, wolf has changed how it has grown over those two years i think i got it in 2019 i will show you in the moment what it looks like so just the other day I was just looking at the old photos and I had a look now in my greenhouse and I thought wow it has changed so much. So here what it looked like when I first got it. And now 2022. So as you can see some leaves are a bit uh, uh, wrinkled. So, uh, as I said, one of the chores uh, in winter is to just water a bit of succulents to keep them going to a uh, greenhouse. And what I'm doing now is to is getting rid of any uh, dried out leaves on my echeverias. Uh, one reason being for uh, aesthetics and the other one is just to uh not encourage any bacteria or, or pests to develop so just to keep it uh, nice and uh, tidy those leaves are uh, coming off uh, really easily so it's just natural process that some of them uh, die off uh, if you pull and you can see that this one won't come off easily it's because it's just a half dried dried up yet so i will uh, leave it to shrink um, completely so this uh, echeverias uh, is overwintering in this uh, little greenhouse there's no um, heater just uh, fleece if i need to cup another um, task to do is just to clean greenhouse to keep it uh, clean again to prevent any pests and uh, fungus or any uh, bacteria so even in winter there are a few things to do like checking plants for pests and cleaning things around. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!